life could have was. So me a search for happiness. Good morning, Vlog Nation. No, my people are going with. You know what's going on. Just drop off the bus at school, you see me? And I walk and go back home, you know, and think. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's a nice, me like it. Nice, bright sun. You see me? It's a good feeling to carry the bus to school in the morning time. Drop him off, me and him walk and hold a little reason. It's a nice little vibe, you see me? It's a something I always envision when I used to live back home. In Jamaica, that when I have a child, I would have put them on my shoulder and there's some little thoughts, so no, I can't do that. And it's manifesting, it's just a good feeling, you see me? Before, when he used to go to daycare, Alyssa used to bring him to the daycare. So they, they get up early in the morning, like at them 5 o'clock or something, something there, you see me? But now that he's in school, Alyssa, you see me? Me and him boss in my man, so I get a full on daddy experience there. You see it, so I'm proud of that, I love that. You see me? And um, yeah, while I'm on this note of beautiful blue skies, it's sad to say that one of our neighboring Caribbean country is in a very bad state right now. You see me? Alyssa told me about it before, you know. But because I'm, I'm no longer on Facebook and all of those social platforms, I only want me to use uh, Instagram. I may only like post and reply to one and two comments and then leave because I'm trying not to be on too much um, social media, you see me? It's kind of distracting to be honest. But you see, I make a post and one of my real, real general close friend of mine link me up and I say, Yo, brother, give him the platform that you have, you know. You can um, spread a word to the people, man. I tell me, see your Bahamas mash up. And I say, You know what? I'm going to check out here and see what's going on. When I check it out, I never realize say yo, I saw the Bahamas mash up my people. You see me? So, for all of my supporters over in the Bahamas, I don't have my support just the same. And my prayers are God for you, you see me? And all your loved ones, you know, because we know that something they got. When we used to live back home, remember in 2004, like a big, um, what you call it? A big thing they hit in 2004, you know. A big hurricane named Hurricane Ivan. You see me? Lift off with roof. Lift off with entire roof. And at that time, in a 2 o'clock in the morning, I used to look up in a, in a sky and I see zinc just a fly. All our electronics and anything that we need about them, also we have to put them on them something. So I know exactly what the Bahamas is going through. So my prayers goes out to all of my people. Them. And even if you're not my people, just my press goes off for the entire Bahamas. You feel me? I fall from? Because it's a touching moment. Anyone who in the Caribbean can experience that at any given time. Because we have to remember, say, yo, we're prone to um, storms. You know what I'm saying? A hurricane, so to speak. I'm so lag back in. I'm up on the road. I walk. I'm in a two two. I have up my phone. Okay, so there's been a hurricane going on. And. It has reached Bahamas and it has destroyed the place very badly. And I wish the best and I hope everything gets back to normal soon and that they get help, the help that they need. So I thought, you know what? I took first aid training and I thought that this app would be very helpful. So if you go on your Play Store or your, um, whatever it is for your phone, so for me, I have an Android, so it's a Play Store. Go into it, and then you put First Aid app, and you're gonna click on the First Aid Canadian Red Cross. So this one right here. Okay, it's already installed, so I'm gonna open it. It's really good for you to have, because um, 
it can help you in emergency situations like hurricanes or prepare you for hurricanes. So let me show you. So when you download it, it teaches you a whole bunch of things, right? How to treat the problems, whatever problem it is that you have. Okay, so prepare. So you, the hurricane is in the Caribbean right now, I think. And so what you want to do is you want to get yourself an emergency kit. Click on emergency kit and get all these things at the store. Just so you're prepared in case you know what happens in the Bahamas happens to your country. Um, also, if there's flooding, be prepared. A checklist that you need. Um, battery or hand crank radio so you know what's happening. Um, it tells you all that. Returning home, clean up, whatever it is. Hurricane. Right here. These are all the things you need, you know. When you get them, just check them off. You see? Very good. Okay. Um, emergency. Say you're in... Um, you are in the hurricane and somebody gets hurt. They have a broken bone. Tells you what to do. Um, someone's having a panic attack. You, it tells you exactly what to do. Help the person to calm down and all that stuff. Also, head injury. Somebody get might get hurt. Head injury during the hurricane. Um, hyperthermia. Who knows? Uh, a nosebleed, seizures, strain, sprain, strokes. Someone might become unresponsive. You don't know what to do. Bam. Are they bleeding? Are they breathing? Yes. It tells you what to do. If they're not breathing, nope. It tells you how to give them CPR. And some people might be like, oh, well, my phone, our phone might die or whatnot. If your phone does die, you should always plan for it, right? So say your phone does die. Um, you, should, you should always have it kind of try to memorize what you can. Or that's why you have a preparedness, um, a preparedness kit, which is um, would be water resistant where you have everything in it. Um, and just, even if you can, just write this, um, type things up, laminate it, put it in the preparedness kit just in case you need it. Um, it'd be really good. Just be prepared for anything. Be prepared for anything that might come. And this app is the best app. Take screenshots, whatever you can, because I'm not sure if it works without internet. I hope it will, but you never know. So take a look. Power outage, what to do. Yeah, look it up and tell your friends and your friends of friends. Help them do what they can. All right, stay safe. Bye. All right, may I check in back with everybody right now? So I delayed uploading this video because I got some new information. So my friend Romy, big up yourself again, my general, always uh, come through, you see me? So he tagged me on Instagram on one of Conscience's posts. So you know conscience dance all artists and you know he's um always giving back to the community and that you that always mean everybody well. So when you go on conscience's page, I'm gonna leave a link in the description as well where you can go go to the GoFundMe page. These pages were created by musicians from the Bahamas, you know what I say? So you can rest assured that your money is not going into criminals' hands. Got enough people try to profit from the downfall. A situations like this, you see me? You can't piggyback off uh, the destruction of a country for your personal financial gain. We're not work that way, you see me? So don't send the money to me to nobody else like that. There are the GoFundMe pages. We have a link the thing. And as I said, big up Father Jerome, you know, because you reach out and say your brother brings some awareness to me. So give thanks to that. Yeah, Alice brings awareness to me as well. And she also gave you that information and the first aid um, app you can download to just stay informed and stay in the know. So once again, my people, give thanks, you know what I'm saying, and stay safe out there. And let us pray for the Bahamas and the Caribbean and the whole against these wicked stars. You see me so. Until next time, big up on yourself and stay safe. Father Jerome, up there, big up.